Hey, just squad, welcome back to Soul of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool right here, and this is what this is, is a brand new product from the UV security brand. For this part in particular, they call it SoloCam S340, uh, and this is what this is, is a wired free 3K pan and tilt security camera that has dual camera option on here, and supposedly it does have like a spotlight option from what I understand, so I believe it's like right there. But we'll give it a try in a second when we do set it up. And then right here, we do have the solar panel that you do have the option to set up on the actual camera or you guys can extend it to make it a little bit further away. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. They mentioned for the product, it does have a solar plus technology on here. So that way the solar panel option on here, it works a lot better. Even if there's not direct sunlight option on here, it will still charge it pretty well compared to like the previous version or from other brand. They mentioned how the product has smart zoom by eight times zoom. It has a pan and tilt option. They mentioned how it does have a removable solar panel, which is what I mentioned. It does have a colored night vision option and it has an on-device AI detection and tracking option. So the colored night vision is really cool. So that way you can see stuff in darker setting in color, which is really awesome because typical night vision option give you guys a black and white color. So I'm very excited about that new thing that's on here as well. On the side right here, they do mention some of the benefit of using the UV security app. And then right here in the back, they do probably got some more specs and features on here. So I've been see how for this photo right here, they do have the option for you guys to pull out the removable solar panel option. So that way you can move it to direct sunlight if you guys want to. But they mentioned how it doesn't have any blind spot on here since it does have a 360 panable and tiltable camera option on here. And they do tell you guys what kind of lens they do have on here as well. So there's a two time telephoto uh, lens and a 3K wide angle lens for you guys to use. So that would get a very good coverage throughout your whole entire uh, space when you guys do use that. And they also mentioned how it does have a built-in local storage of 8 gigabytes when you guys use that. So that way the stuff that you guys are recording on here is very secure and safe. So that's everything that's on the outside of the package. Let me actually open it up to show you guys the inside. So once you guys open it up, inside right here is what the product looks like. So the very first thing inside right here, they do probably got the solar panel that you guys can set up. And they do have this film for you guys to move. So the first time you in the product, you definitely move the film first. So just like this. And this is what the solar panel looks like. So this is the solar plus option I mentioned. And then here is the back. So you can feel free to screw this onto the product when you guys do set it up. Or like I mentioned, feel free to extend the cable on here to make it longer to reach further away to get direct sunlight if you guys want to. But it is USB-C for the cable. And when you guys do feel the solar panel option on here, it feels really high quality and really smooth. So that's the first thing inside. The next thing right underneath that, they do probably got a lot of accessories in the bottom. So pretty much what's included inside or underneath that, they do probably got a bunch of mounting accessories that you use. So one for the camera option and then one for the actual uh, product when you guys set it up. And the way how to design this part right here, it is tiltable and adjustable based on your own preference. And the back part is where you guys want to screw it in through the holes. Right here, they do probably got the screws that you can use. So feel free to screw it on when you guys do set it up. Right here, they do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it and probably got the precision sticker so that would set up correctly. And then right here, they do probably got some cables. So this one right here is a USB to USB-C cable that's in use. And for the other cable here, this is USB-C to USB-C. So I'm assuming this is the cable that allow you guys to extend it further away if you guys want to. So I'm assuming this cable right here is where you can plug it in here. And this side where you guys want to extend it to actually plug it onto the other side of the camera when you guys do set the solar panel option. And then last but not least, we do have the actual product here. So the overall product right here doesn't feel too heavy. It actually feels like it has a little bit of weight to it, but not like super heavy. Like I mentioned for this camera, you do have the pan and tilt option. So feel free to uh, move it left and right. 360 if you guys do want to, which is really awesome. And you do have the option to tilt it up and down to different angles if you guys do need to. That way you do get very good coverage when you guys do use that. Top out right here, we do have the in-here light that will turn on when you guys got it on. And here we do have like the speaker option. I believe on the part right here, they do have like the microphone that will turn on when you guys do use a two-way audio option. Top out right here is where you guys want to screw it on if you guys want to uh, mount on the solar panel option. This part right here is where you guys want to mount on this part right here to use it as a stand option to uh, set up. So just clip it on like that. And that way you can mount it onto the wall when you guys got it set up. If you guys want to take it out, there's a button for you to release it to take it out really easily. On the side right here, they do have the brand name UV Security. Same thing for this as well. And the first time using the product, you do want to remove the film here as well. Same thing for the little sensor here. And when you guys do look at the lens on here, definitely looks very high quality. Like I mentioned, they do have like the 8x zoom option and 3K video quality when you guys use that. And we're assuming right here is the uh, night vision option or sensor option. In this right here, we probably have the light option. 
So it definitely looks very nice and very high quality when you guys do look at it. I love how they do have the dual camera option on here to give you guys a better coverage when you guys use it. And then for the back part right here, if you guys remove the other film option, they do have this part right here for you guys to open up. And they also have a sync button right here. So right to open up. Inside right there is where you guys want to plug in cable to actually recharge it and activate it. So if you're first time using the product, it is recommended for you guys to plug in a cable to recharge it to make sure it's fully charged before you guys do uh, use it outside. And obviously when you guys got the cable all plugged in for the solar panel option, this is where it's plugged in as well. So once you guys are not using it, close it back up. So just like that. And that's pretty much everything that's included in the package. One right now is plugging in cable to show you guys how to charge it up first. And then we'll power it on and connect it to show you guys what it actually looks like if you guys would set it up. So for right now, let's plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it first. So once you guys plug it in, the front part right here, the light does turn on and we see. So right now it's loading up. So technically for this product, for the Solo Cam S340, you don't have to use a solar panel if you guys want to. Feel free to plug it in directly to wire it on if you guys want to, but it is designed for you guys to use it with a solar panel option. So pretty much if you guys were to use it without the solar panel option somewhere else, you guys can just pretty much just screw it on here and just set up your solar panel on top right here to use it. So very easy for you to set up this part right here. For this test right now, before I should bring it outside, I want to set it up using the app control and show you guys what it looks like on the app first. So if you guys don't have the app already, you do want to download it. This is the UV security app. And pretty much what you guys do is add the device. So in this case right here, we do have the Solo Cam S340. And you guys want to set it all up. So right now, tell me to connect it on the network first to the Wi-Fi network. Let's do that first. Once you guys got connected, it tell you guys to press the sync button at back for two seconds until you guys hear a beep. All right, so once you guys hear the beep and it's flashing blue, click on next right here. And they mentioned how it will generate a QR code for you to scan. So press OK and just scan the code using the camera. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. And what you guys can do is press on her two beeps and now it's connecting. So give it like a few seconds, a few minutes to connect in. Setup was successful. All right, so we got it all set up. So right now it should be almost done connecting. Just give it a few more seconds. And notice how on the actual image right here on the app, it shows you guys how to set it up if you guys were to set up the solar panel on top. That is what it would look like if you guys were to use like that instead of using the extender cable option to make it further away. So once you guys got it all set up, this is what the app looks like. So you see how I show you guys two images on here, two video quality option on here, one on top and one on the bottom. So one of them is a zoom option and the one is a regular option right here. I'll put this down for now. That way I don't have to keep holding it because we don't have that set up right now. But notice how when you guys put it down, it does turn on the night vision option on here because it's very dark on my table because it's facing directly on my table right now. But you see on here, they do give you a lot of different options available. They do have the record option, the sound option, the speak option, pan and tilt, and the light option. Let me turn on the light to show you guys what it looks like first. So I do turn on the light. That is what the light looks like. Very bright light. You can see how when you guys do use that. If you guys press on again, it turns off. If you guys use the pan and tilt option, Let's try to move it around. So that's how far it goes up. And that's how far it goes down. Bring it back up. If you guys bring it left and right. That's how far it goes that way. Bring it the other way. That's how far it goes that way. So it definitely give you guys a very good coverage on here when you guys do use that. So feel free to turn left and right, up and down, etc. That way you can get a very good coverage throughout everywhere when you guys do use that. Let's move it back to the front. All right. If I do swipe this way, there's a more options available on here for you guys to use. So there's a screenshot option, there's a night vision option, there's an AI tracking and a, a look around option. So if you guys do press on the night vision option on here, we're currently using a black and white option. If you guys do press on the bottom one right here, that is a colored night vision option. And notice how when we turn on the colored night vision option on here, it's not black and white anymore. So the product works really well in terms of what you guys do get even before we actually give it a try. It's not black and white anymore, if you can see the color. And if you guys do press right here, you do have the option to change the setting on here for the quality of the video quality, or feel free to use auto mode on here. But it pretty much has 3K, 1080p, or 720p. 
And if you guys look at the top right corner right here, they do have an alarm option for you guys to press. So maybe if you guys see like an intruder or something or like a thief, you guys can turn it on to scare them away. If you guys do press right here, that is a setting page for you guys to change the different setting on here if you guys want to. So you do have the option to turn it on and turn it off. There's a motion detection option, the power manager option, preset position, spotlight setting, and etc. So you do have the option to increase and lower the brightness level on here for the spotlight if you guys want to. And you do have the option to change like the pan and tilt option on here if you guys want to as well. And feel free to adjust like the audio setting, the video setting, and etc. on here as well. So if you guys do press on video setting, you do have the option to turn on and turn off the watermark option. And you do have the option to adjust different setting on here as well. So for example, if you guys press on view mode, you do have the option to use only one of them or both of the lens when you guys use them. Probably better for you guys to use two lens to give you guys a better result when you guys use it and a lot more coverage when you guys use it as well. Just keep in mind that if you guys use the dual view option, it drains the battery a lot more than the single view option. And you do have the option to share the device with your family and friends. So that way they do have access as well if you guys want to give the access to your friends or family. So that is pretty much everything that's on the product. One right now is to give it a try to record it on here and show you guys what the audio sounds like and also what the image quality looks like when you guys do use it. So the next image that you guys are going to see right here is probably going to be the image from the actual product. So I'm going to turn off the spotlight for now and I'm going to record it. So what you guys are listening to right now and what you guys are looking at right now is the audio quality and the video quality that's coming from the actual camera right here. You can see this actually looks like from this far away. If you guys were to turn on the light, this is what the quality looks like with the light on. And here's what it actually looks like with it off. One way now is to uh, turn off the light and show you guys what it actually looks like with the light off. Alright, so let's do turn off the light. This is what it actually looks like in the dark setting when we do use that. So I'm assuming it's still sensing some of the light that's coming in from the other room. That's why it's not working just yet. Let me try to turn off the light in the other room as well and try again. Alright, so I turn off the light in the other room. Let's give it a try one more time. So it doesn't seem like it's activating the uh, light vision option on here. Let me see why. So let's say what's happening right now is the fact that when you guys turn on the color night vision option on here, it seems like it does turn on the light to get a better view. Let me try to change it to the black and white option. All right, so now we do have it on a black and white uh, night vision option. You can see this what actually looks like when you guys do use that. Let me try to turn it back on to color night vision option and see what happens. All right, so it does turn on the spotlight option when we do use it on the color night vision option on here. So I guess when you guys use the color night vision option, it does turn on the spotlight option as what you can see right here for the test. So this actually looks like when you guys use the black and white option versus the color night vision option. And notice how when you guys do use the camera on here, whenever it spots someone on the camera moving around or something, it will give you guys a notification on top. So similar to this one right here, you can see. But that is pretty much what the image quality looks like when you guys use it in a bright setting versus a dark setting. And also what it looks like when you guys use it in a uh, black and white night vision option versus the color option. And obviously, like I mentioned, it does have the AI tracking option if you guys want to use the option on here and the pan and tilt option as well. So pretty much how the pan and tilt option works is that once you guys turn it on, if you guys look at the camera on here, the camera on here will move towards you when you guys do use that and keep you guys in the frame. So I do move my hand this way, it will follow it. But once it sees your face, it goes back to your face to keep you guys in frame when you guys do use that. So for example, if I do turn it around, if I do put something in front, doesn't work. But once it sends my face on the side here, it will readjust and it'll look for me again. If you see how it's moving towards me, if you guys turn the other way, look for me again. It starts following me again. And that's pretty much the AI tracking on here when you guys use that. If you guys do turn on the 360 look around option on the app, it will pretty much turn it 360 to look around when you guys use that. So there's another cool option available on here for you guys to use. So that is pretty much how you guys use the product and what you guys do get on here. Very easy and very simple to use it. So now that we show you guys everything on here in terms of what it actually looks like when you guys do use it and how to set it up. Now let me actually go set up the product and show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys actually put it outdoor in an like outdoor setting and then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so here we do have the product set up and here I do have my other one from the UV security brand as well. So you see how for this one right here, it does have a solar panel option that got a lot of dirt on here already. And that's totally normal since you guys are using outdoor. 
But notice how this one right here does give you guys a pan and tilt option for you guys to move it left and right and up and down. And this one also has the AI tracking option where it actually follows you guys in frame, which is really awesome. So one right now is show you guys what the image quality looks like for both of them when you guys do them. Start with this one here first. So what you guys are seeing right now is coming from the dual camera, the pan and tilt option right here. If you guys do move back and forth on here left and right, it pretty much follows me in frame, which is really awesome. And just to show you guys, I should look like when you guys do use that earlier, then see how we got uh, move back and forth on here. The camera's moving left and right. So obviously you do have the option to control it manually on here on the app, or you can control it using AI tracking option. But this actually looks like when you guys use them. And I'm actually wait for uh, night time to show you guys the difference of this one versus the other one. All right. So if you guys do look at the other one right here, this is what the image quality looks like, or the video quality looks like. And this is for the other one here. So I do turn on the light. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So there's the light for that one. Turn it off. So that's what it looks like with this one. Let me turn the light for the other one. All right, so I got this other one here. If you have to turn on the light, that's what it looks like with the light here. So notice how it's not as bright because it doesn't give you guys as much of coverage compared to the other one. But still very nice how they do give you a uh, spotlight object on here. So I'm not sure if you can see it because of the glare, but you can definitely see the light on here is very bright compared to the other one. And because I do have this light on on the side right here, it makes it bright already. But this actually looks like when you guys do use it in a dark setting. So this will actually look like when you guys do use it in a dark setting. If you guys do turn on the light on here, this will actually look like when you guys do use it. So if you see the quality everything on here is actually pretty good, even with the nice settings that you have to use it. And if you guys do turn on like the night vision option, it looks a lot better just like I'll show you earlier. So this will actually look like with this one when you guys do use it. So now I'm actually show you guys what it looks like the other one when you guys use it on that one compared this one. This actually looks like the dark setting that you guys do use it. Right now, I do have the light on. I'll wait for it to turn off first and then show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so I do turn it on. That's what it looks like with the light on. Let's try the other one. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the other one here when you guys don't care. You can see what it looks like in the dark setting. If you guys do turn the light, it's very bright and you see when you guys do that. So when you guys use this one compared to the other one, it does seem like this one is a little more brighter because it does give you guys a true light on both sides. Let me actually record it on my phone to show you guys what it looks like for both of them. Welcome back guys. So now it's a quick test of product and definitely actually does work and it works quite well. And see how well it does look when you guys got it all set up. That way when you guys do put it outdoor, you don't have to worry about recharging it. All you guys need to do is put it in direct sunlight to get the power on there to recharge it, which is really convenient. And like I mentioned how it does have the solar plus technology on here so that way you guys don't have to worry about not having direct sunlight on there because the solar panel on here will get uh, any sunlight that will go on the solar panel to recharge the product. If for whatever reason it doesn't charge up you do have the option to take it off really easily and just recharge it again. So I feel like for this product it's more ideal for you guys to use it maybe in your backyard or somewhere that uh, it's not easy for someone to steal the camera since they do have the option right here for you guys to take it off really easily that I showed us earlier. So just keep that in mind when you guys got it all set up. All right. So one other test that I want to show you guys on here is like the audio on here in terms of speaker. So because I can't use it right now, right next to it, I have to walk away. So what I'm going to do is to put my microphone on here and walk away and record it. And as I walked away, you guys will see that the uh, camera on here in terms of pan and tilt and also the AI tracking option on here, it'll turn and follow me when I do walk out. So make sure to watch it right here. But let's put a microphone here. And what I'm going to do is walk away 
and uh, use the audio on here for two-way audio to show you guys how it does work. So notice how the product is actually following me when I walk away on here. But when I do speak to it, this actually sounds like from far away. So there's definitely a lot of feedback on here when you guys do use it, especially if you guys don't walk far away. But this actually sounds like when you guys do use it. So the audio on here is actually very clear when you guys use it. Feel free to adjust it if you guys want to increase or lower it. And notice how I walk back into frame on here in the uh, behind the camera. Notice how the camera is moving because of the AI tracking option on here, which is really cool. So I can see for the pan and tilt option on here, it definitely does work and it works pretty well to keep you guys in frame when you guys do move it around. And that's pretty much what the audio sounds like when you guys do use it. But that's pretty much everything that's on the product. Now that we show you guys how the product works and what it actually looks like when you guys do use it, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want these warranties, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality solar camera to use at your home, in your office, or anywhere else that pretty much give you guys everything on here in terms of dual camera, solar option to recharge it, uh, high quality image quality on here. They do have like the night vision in black and white and also color option, spotlight option, and so much more that I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save everyone something else that should they do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.